Hello, I'm Jacobs TWR here, welcoming back to another review. Today's review, I'll be reviewing Trevor the Traction Engine. Okay, without further ado, let's jump right into the backstory, shall we? Trevor was first introduced in the Railway Series book, Edward the Blue Engine, where Trevor was found at the scrapyard by Edward. He said that he was too old-fashioned, that's what his manager said, and he was going to be planned to be broken up next week, but Edward was sad about that. Edward saw on the station platform, Oh, look! Why haven't I think of that before? He will save Trevor. The man on the platform was the vicar, and Edward told the vicar all about Trevor and how he can do really useful stuff. The vicar said to Edward, We'll see. Soon the vicar and his two boys went to see Trevor. Trevor was excited. Show me your paces. And then Trevor showed him how smoothly he can run. And decided, and the vicar decided to buy him. And Trevor was excited. Trevor loved the orchard. And he loves giving children rides. This story also got adapted into the television series. Now let's move on to the wooden railway model. Trevor's wooden railway model was first introduced in 2000s and Trevor was a really good model. I say good because it's not great but it's still really good. The face is really good and it really suits Trevor. I also like the paint job that they put on it, the lining and the wheels, and even the coal load. Yeah, it just looks really good. I also like these big wheels, but I unfortunately, I, I thought these wheels were going to be red, but eh, it was like 2000s. I, I couldn't blame them. But I also like the detailing of like the back over there, and this model was a really good model. And I also like this one feature where you can move Trevor and then this wheel would spin with it. Just like from the actual TV show and from the books. And that's what a traction engine really does. And I would say this is a good model. Now, there's one thing that bothers me with this model. And it's not the face or anything else. It's this. What? Why? Because, well, you see... Trevor has this thing where where it's connected to his funnel. And I thought, oh, this might be a factory error. But nope. This is, happens to every single model. And I absolutely hate it. Like, shouldn't it be separated? And plus, it looks ugly. Because it's connected to the funnel. And it looks really, really ugly. And I just don't like seeing that gap over there. It makes it feel like it's not finished or it's cut off. Yeah, this was a problem I had when I first got Trevor from eBay. But, oh no, that's just me nitpicking. But in 2009, Trevor's wind rally model has gone off the of shelves, retired. In 2017, Mattel decided to make... Trevor again which I'll point out the good the only good thing is the red wheels I like them it's really good that's everything good about this model now on to the bad this is just ugly it's just so ugly the face is ugly the, sh the funnel is too short and it's so chubby and and also the wheel the cog wheel just looks wrong like there was no effort to it so yeah i would rather choose the 2000 model than the uh 2017 model because this model what all in all trevor is a really good model and actually i got mine really cheap off of ebay wow i can really say that actually let's play this clip later he came out of the office smiling I've got him cheap, Jim. Cheap. All in all, I think Trevor's model is a good model. It's really good. It's not too complicated. 
and it's just good in general. I just love it. And I highly recommend buying this model if you can find one on eBay. I will see you guys in the next video. I don't know when it's going to be coming out, but it will come out. I promise you that. Well, with all that said, goodbye for now. See ya.